Hello, Louisiana Beer Reviews, another mystery taste challenge. We're wearing that out. And I have a mystery beer that you have had before, and so, because it doesn't make any sense to do it otherwise. So I'm going to take the can out of the bag. Here's your can opener. Throw the can bag out the way. Here's a nice uh, can of. Why would I need a can opener? I could just use my hand to pop the tab, right? Which is what I'm going to do. There's the tab being popped. There's a piece of the can. Drop it on the floor. All right. Those little aluminum cans. Now they are. And then I'll pour some for me. At least I'll get a little of it. I'm always getting cheated, but... All right, I was going to pour you a little more. He's getting shorted. All right. There we go. Now, open your eyes. Oh, it's dark. Not like the yellow fizzy stuff we did earlier. It's brown. That is so reddish brown. It's, it looks like Coca-Cola. It does look like Coca-Cola. You're right. It's got a frothy, what's that color? Bone colored, cream colored head. I don't have much of one. Yeah, kind of. Cream color. Oh yeah. What's the ABV on this? Seven point six. Seven point six. All right. Foreign or domestic? Oh, it's foreign. After, after drinking a 12.2. <laughs> I really know how to schedule it, don't I? Go. It's not going to go backwards. Oh, good, the rain stopped. Smell like reasons. Mm -hmm. This is Celebrator. Eyinger Celebrator? Mm -hmm. What is that one? That's close to 7.6. That's a great beer. Eyinger Celebrator, y'all, is so good, and it's so expensive, and that's why I never buy it. And you only get 11.2 ounces. It's got a little plastic goat on the leaf, on the neck. Well, if this isn't it, it's its evil twin brother. Oh, well, you, you seem to like it. It's good. Oh, uh, but you couldn't drink too many of these. You'd be, it'd be coming back up. <laughs> Your fun would stop. You seem to like it more than that booze bomb we just had. Oh, well, this is balanced. It's got that rich note to it. You can taste it. Um, it doesn't... It doesn't make the body fall apart. We, 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 both of us have, have had discussions with the Dogfish Head 120, uh, 120 and, and a 90. Oh. And the price differential between the two is extremely... Extremely, extremely far left. Um, meaning that one's really more expensive than. Oh, that. it's insane! And, and I was uh, not pleased with the ninety minute at Park, uh, Circle K. I was gonna bring that for a taste challenge. Well, that one's a lot better than the one twenty. The one twenty is so darn boozy now. Oh, I just don't know where to go with this. It's boozy. unreal. I don't. I don't know where to go with these boozy beers. I'm gonna tell you where to go with the one twenty. It's a gimmick beer. It's done just to be extreme. You know, it's not really a beer to drink. You just say, "Oh, I can't believe it. It's so strong." You know, and then you right. make a video like that. But to drink it, no. Nah. All right. You can't make. You cannot drink stuff like that. You will die. It's like the videos of these guys uh, chugging forties till they're gone. Yeah, it's like you can't live like that. I don't get it. Beer is not supposed to be 18% alcohol, okay? It's not supposed to be. Most wines are not even that high. Only the port wines and the Madeiras and the uh, Sherry's. What is that stuff in there? Oh, that's just a reflection. It's just a shadow of the break. Oh, yeah, yeah. The break in the wake. Heavy good. body, 
not too sweet of a finish, though, kind of dry finish. Um, so you're saying it's Ienga Celebrator. Celebrator. Yep. With the goat. I am. I love that beer. Oh, it's a hundred out of a hundred. <laughs> but this is not Celebrator. This it's is. Not. Oh. I know you've had this before. I have not had that one in so long. Long, long, long time because you, uh, the carbohydrates in this are so high. <laughs> it, the calories are, and it says on here, malt liquor. Yeah. <laughs> malt liquor. So at least I was in the, in the right region. Munich, Germany. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's like 45 carbs in this. It's like 200 and something calories per bottle. It's liquid bread, folks. Optimator. Yeah. And I don't think they sell it in Germany. I've had German viewers say, we don't get this in Germany. I said, well, we get it. It's a Doppelbach. This company was established in 1397. Uh, Spatenbräu, Munich, Germany. And Lisa giving us a... Lisa giving us a 12 ounce bottle. Oh, don't just, just, no, no, just get it after the video because I have a feeling we're going to have a glass smash yeah. on the floor. And Lisa giving us a 12 ounce bottle. But you know what we used to get? You remember 10 years ago we used to get these big 500 milliliter bottles of this Optimator with the mm -hmm. foil top? Yep. We need those back. But man, if you go to, no, if you go, <laughs> if you go to, yeah, it's so heavy. Thanks it's, for sneaking that one in on me. What, this? I can't eat bread the rest of the day. It's a lot of calories. Ooh, you know? Dude, I'm gonna wake up in the morning and be able to put my pants on. Now you see why they drink these during uh, Lent, right? When they would fast and eat no solid food. It's like liquid solid food. Mm. Nah. But how you score it though? Oh, it's it's a it's a really good score. I give it a 94. I'm it's up go, there. I'm gonna go with 96. I love it. But I couldn't drink too much of it. Oh, no. No. Thanks for just a half. So instead of 45 carbs, I got 22 and a half. Thank you. You're welcome. So, Lazy Le Bon Tomerle. It's a fabulous, legendary beer. The Optimator from Spaten. I bought this at World Market. And we're going to end this review by saying y'all go to Munich, Germany, in the state of Bavaria, and tour the Spaten Huge Brewery.